Hi everybody, this is Oscar and I'm, I'm, I'm in Rome. <clears throat> and I, I have just learned of the passing away of a friend of mine. He passed away suddenly, in fact. He was, uh, he was singing it in a choir in the city of Pisa. Now this man, uh, apparently in good health, a retired physician, a brilliant man, a man whose who's, who's scope of knowledge and reading and culture was amazing, especially when it came to classical music. He, he, was, he was a repository, a great repository of knowledge in many fields, but especially the area of classical music. We had been planning to get together and have a coffee and talk about so many interesting things, and, and suddenly, suddenly he's no longer here. And I guess it, it, it brings again, doesn't it, the hallucinatory nature of life, the futility of life, the meaninglessness of things. So I'm reminded, you know, how we should appreciate life. And, and you know what, we should, we should appreciate even, even the little things that bother us, the things we think we hate, the things that, that frustrate us. For these, these are part of living, aren't they? These are the, the act of life and living, because from the negative the positions, the positive. And when something bothers us, it sets us up to, 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 to find joy in something else. It's all, it's all intertwined, isn't it? As much of Eastern philosophy teaches us. And so I'm reminded again of the great phrase in Arabic from the from the Muslim culture, Alhamdulillah, which means thank God for everything. Get thank God for every little thing we have in our life. Thank God even even, even for the negative things, the things we don't like. For one day when we cannot experience these things anymore perhaps looking from above down, we will learn to appreciate them. So, things upon which to reflect. See you later.